Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm having another go at the Denman brush. We all know what happened the first time, right? So yeah, if you guys want to see how things went this time, keep watching. So we're starting out with completely wet hair. I've cleansed my hair with shampoo and used conditioner in the shower. I've also detangled my hair. So of course I'll start by spritzing my hair with more water to ensure that it is completely wet this time. So I'm using the Wow Skin Science Argan Oil Conditioner and I'm just emulsifying that on my hand. And then I'm just applying this from mid length to ends using praying hands and also raking through the product. And then I'm just combing through the product to make sure that it's evenly distributed from root to tip. For the purposes of this video and to compare it to my last Denman results, I'll be using exactly the same products. As you can see, I'm switching between praying hands and raking. Now you'll notice that throughout the video, whenever I feel like my hair is losing moisture, I'm just applying some more water. I'm just using my Denman brush to comb through here. You can use whichever brush or comb you want. Now I'm just sectioning my hair out and using some clips to keep them out of the way. And just like my last video, I'm going to take vertical sections. I'm not going to make the mistake of my hair drying out this time. So I'm going to take the 10 min brush and I'm going to comb from the front once and then I'll go behind the section and I will start ribboning out my hair. I'm really going to take my time here and ribbon out all of the sections. Now I've taken vertical sections because I want enough clumps from each section and this is something that will give me more volume. I'm going to shake out the sections to see if the ribboning work. So once again, I'm combing from the front, then I'm taking the brush from behind and then ribboning things out. I'll drop the hair down to see if the ribboning has worked and if the clumps are formed nicely and if they're curling, which they are. I'm going to repeat exactly the same process for the rest of my hair. This time I'm going to use gel and I'm using the same enliven gel in the keratin variant that I used in my first Denman video and I'm just going to take that on my hand, emulsify a bit and then just touch my hair with it very gently and then slowly I'm going to start scrunching. As you can see, I'm being very, very gentle when I'm scrunching. I'm not scrunching aggressively. The more I scrunch, the more I'll encourage the curls to form. So I'm going to keep doing this. But I'm going to be very, very gentle. I'm not going to be rough. And then I'm going to repeat exactly the same process on the rest of my hair. Vertical sections. 
and every time I feel like my hair is drying out a bit, I'm going to add some more water. I'm taking vertical sections. And just ribboning my hair out. There's no difference between this time and the last. The only difference that you will see between my first video and this second video is that I'm not waiting till the end to apply the gel. The moment the curls are forming, I'm quickly applying the gel to seal in the moisture. I haven't taken out any of the rows from the brush. And the ribboning technique that I'm using is also exactly the same as my last video. Another thing that I'm going to do differently this time, as you'll notice, is that I'm applying gel four times. So I took my hair and I sectioned it out in four sections, right, and clipped them up. So every time I finish styling one fourth of my hair, I'm going to quickly apply some gel and I'm going to scrunch it out. And then one last time at the end, I'll scrunch again. Now I'm going to take some more gel and slather a generous helping on my hands and then I'm just going to touch my hair with the gel from both sides. I want to show you this process properly because I've been getting a lot of questions. So I'm going to tilt my head forward. I'm just going to touch my hair with the gel and then I'm going to start scrunching. So I'm going to take my hands and place my hair in it, cup my hair, push it towards my root and I'm going to squeeze. This is really going to help encourage the curls to form. Especially if you're in transition, you should really focus on this step quite a bit. I'm going to tilt to the side and then I'm going to scrunch once more. I'm doing this so that I get some nice volume and movement in my hair. Now, how many times do I scrunch? Many, 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 many times, okay? So those of you who are writing to me telling me that you've scrunched three or four times, sorry ladies, I'm not going to speed up this footage. I'm gonna let it be as is. Okay, you can see me taking some more gel. So you can see how generous I am with the gel. Again, touching my hair very gently so that I don't destroy and pull apart my curl clumps. Making sure that I have gel on most sections of my hair and then I'm going to start scrunching. Please notice how delicate I am at this step. And when I scrunch, I take my hair and push it right to my root. But if you're very aggressive at this step, then you're going to cause a lot of frizz and you're going to break open your clumps. So please be a little careful. You can see Mr. Crow in the background, living his best life. Now that I'm done styling, I'm in my plop. I'm going to plop my hair for 30 minutes, wait for my hair to dry and be right back. Okay, so I'm back and my hair is completely dry. It's time to scrunch out the crunch. So I've been getting a lot of questions about leaving gel on your hair. So I'm not deleting any of this footage. I'm showing you how I scrunch out the crunch. And you will see that the gel vanishes the more I scrunch leaving me with nice, soft, defined curls.
Now I'm just going to use a root comb. This is all I have. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to fluff out my roots and this is going to encourage volume and give my hair some shape. I'm not deleting this footage either because I want to show you how you can achieve a lot of root volume since I've been getting a lot of questions on it. This obviously is not part of this Denman video but since I'm here and I'm doing it I thought I'd show you guys what I do to encourage volume at my roots. Okay, I shouldn't go overboard with this. This is what my hair has come out like today. It's definitely better than the last time. I don't see any dry patches. I see a little frizz, but that's normal for me. I didn't pull out any of the rows in the brush. I left all five rows in the brush because I only wanted to manipulate one factor. It made no sense in manipulating so many factors then we would have never known the difference. Now guys, I have to tell you, a Denman brush is something that you don't really get here in India. So even though I'm close to month eight of the curly curl method, the people who have subscribed to my channel know what my hair looks like normally. If you've been here on my channel and you've seen a few other of my videos, you would know that I think I am able to produce very good results without using the Denman brush. That being said, I do like my results. I think I'm due for a haircut. Yes, the definition is very nice, but the stringy clumps, I still have those stringy clumps, which I'm not enjoying. So maybe the next time we try the Denman brush, we'll take out one of the rows and see if it makes a difference. Now listen guys, the first time I did my Denman video, I didn't like the results. You guys know I didn't like the results. It would have been very easy for me to delete that video and uh, try it a few more times till I perfected my technique and came back here and did a video where I looked like, hey, I did it so well, nothing went wrong. But this is not that kind of a channel, okay? If I make mistakes, I'm not going to delete the footage and behave like it didn't exist. I'll tell you why. Uh, it's really good to watch people doing things right and then learning from them but I think it's even more valuable if you learn from the mistakes that I make. So if I ever make a mistake, I'm not going to delete the footage. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use it as a teaching moment. It's quite possible that you're sitting at home and you're trying to replicate someone's technique and you're thinking to yourself, hey, but I did exactly what she did. But then where did I go wrong? which is why if I make mistakes, I'll show it to you guys. Maybe you guys can identify with them and then learn through me what not to do. Anyway, I keep saying let's learn and grow together. So again, let me ask myself a question. Do I like the Denman brush? I'm still not sure yet. I'll have to try it some more times. Since the Denman brush is so popular and curly girls swear by it, uh, to such an extent that when we go to buy it in India, the prices are ridiculous. I saw a Denman brush on Amazon for 4,000 rupees the other day. That was crazy. Anyway, since the brush is so expensive, of course the prices fluctuate. You will get it between 600 to 3, 4,000. Some are 5,000 and 7,000. Anyway, since the brush is so sought after and all of us curly girls are sort of trained to think that, hey, without the Denman brush, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get results. I need this brush and it doesn't matter. So I'll just spend three, four thousand rupees on this brush. I think um, I don't want that to happen, which is why I'm going to try different, different techniques. This is not going to be like a one and done. OK, I use the Denman brush. It's not looking dry. Next, let me try something else. No, I think I'm going to try a few more techniques and share what I learned with you guys. That way, when I'm done with my entire Denman series, you guys will know exactly whether you should make that investment and pay that money and buy a Denman brush or if you feel like you're okay without it. Let me know in the comments down below. Did you think my hair looked better this time? Did you prefer the last time? I'm definitely trying the Denman brush a few more times. 
because if it is that expensive in india and you have to pay so much money for it i'd rather make a lot of videos on it so that you guys are absolutely clear on what the results could be on your hair before you make that purchase and before you take the leap and spend so much money on one little brush okay sound off in the comments down below what did you guys think is there a particular technique that you would like me to try with the denman brush anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up like share subscribe instagram follow all right guys that was it i'll see you in the next one bye